fuck I'm back. Do more Fallout New Vegas. Try a little bit more. Okay. Yeah. I think I'll go ahead and take care of the coyotes first, though. Although, oops, I forgot to check. <laughs> My bad. What? I forgot to go ahead and double check on the place. But, there you go. Um, coyotes. <laughs> Track them over on west side. And... You know what? I'll, I'll go for a little jog. Who knows? Maybe it'll actually turn up the ally technology place while I'm doing this. Maybe. I hope my good fortune is that good. I don't know. I really hope it is. It's worth a try. <laughs> yeah, it is. And also, too, you know, a nice little investigation. It's always fun to go wandering around places and checking them out. Yeah. Although I wish it would be like right next door and it's like, here it is. And I was like, oh, how fortunate. <laughs> Go, go grab some barrel cactus fruit. I don't know what exactly you could cook with a barrel cactus fruit. You can't eat it raw. Uh, I could have swore though there might have been something to cook it with. No, you just peel it and eat it. Hmm. Do they actually sell barrel cactus fruit? Yeah, they sell cactus fruit. Do they sell like Kroger? Yeah, they sell it sometimes. Hmm. I want to try some sometime. Yeah, I wouldn't mind trying it myself. I hope you're not allergic to it though. No, not to cactus. Okay. I'm just concerned after our talk with the banana yucca. Yeah, that's true. Maybe start off with a small one and see if you puff up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Although, is, is barrel cactus fruit even in the same family as banana yucca? No. Nowhere near. Okay, that's good at least. It's a cactus family. Okay. Yeah. Still has me concerned. It's just like I, I kind of, I kind of worry about it. It's like one day it's just puffing up. Like either one of us, like I find out that I actually am allergic to something, or yeah. or you find out you're actually allergic to something new. Yeah, that'd be terrible. Yeah. I want to try a prickly pear cactus. That's what I want to try. Yeah, I wouldn't mind trying that too. That's why I always love to uh, playing this game. You know, you just start looking at all the interesting things. It's like, I wouldn't mind trying this or trying that. Yeah. Or it makes you think of, like, other types of food items. It's like, could you somehow mix that together or do, like, a real-life recipe with that? Yeah. Something of that nature. I wouldn't mind trying. Good old gun runners. Oh, before I go, I could always see Dr. Usanagi as well. For what? I have enough caps to go ahead and upgrade another thing. Oh, for you? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. What do you think I should upgrade? Well, what are your choices? Like, there's strength, there's endurance, there's perception, agility. Um, those are the four right there. Hello. You like the strength or endurance? Endurance? Okay. Yeah. There you go. He's down. He also had himself a nice pool cue. Oh, hey, once I get the Jerry Rick perk, that's actually going to help out a lot. That's true. You get a lot of repairs. Yeah, I'll be able to upgrade or fix a thermal lancer with a pool cue. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There's also like two other upgrades I have. There's one that actually boosts your damage threshold, and another one that actually allows you to slowly regenerate. Ooh. Yeah, although those are more expensive. They're like 8,000 caps and 12,000. Whoa. Yeah. So I figure I'll just go ahead and focus on like the skill points that I want. That's a better idea. Yeah. You said endurance, right? Yeah. Endurance it is. Maybe that'll actually help me out so that way then I don't get hit as much too. Ooh, that'd be great if it did. You're back. Do you need medical attention? No, I want an implant. All right, let me do a quick test to make sure your body can handle another implant. All right, you're healthy enough to handle another one. Which surgery are you considering? I want endurance. The nociception regulator modifies your cardiovascular system and you won't tire as quickly. The price is 4,000 caps, same as most other implants. Here you go. Have a seat in the auto dock. This will take a few hours. I think it'd be pretty cool if some of this stuff happened in real life. Yeah! 
like some stuff like this for endurance or even um, perception, that kind of stuff. Yeah. It would be kind of cool, but also kind of creepy if there was like a a fake eyeball that you could implant into your skull and actually see. Oh, jeez. It, like it would it would help out someone who's blind or yeah. or lost an eye. And it'd just be able to somehow, if they were able to connect it to all the nerves inside your head to actually make it work. Yeah, that would be cool. It would be fascinating as hell, too, if you could actually see if that happens and how it would happen. True. Like, what are all the muscles or all what are all the nerve cells in the eyeball area that would connect it all? I don't know. That's a good question. Yeah. Sometimes you kind of take things for granted or you just start figuring or you start thinking about other stuff like that. Sure. Like I'm kind of curious about that too, but it's it's like nurse, there's like nowhere where they like you could find the information. Mm -hmm. It would be nice if you could. All right, just keep on going this way. Hmm. Uh. I definitely gotta find out where this ally place is. I, I think it's nowhere in sight around here. But at least we're north of Freeside now, we're north side. This place is alright. Yeah, North Vegas. Sunset Sarsaparilla. Cool. Yeah, I just gotta travel this way. I'll just travel around it. And this is, I think, also where the people are hiding out that took the uh, Vicky and Vance's gun. Mm. I think they're around here somewhere. Let us see, let us see, let us see. Hmm. A lot of broken down, damaged areas, but that's mm -hmm. alright. Someone else tried to do a farm right here. Mm -hmm. It would be kind of cool if you could help support these people. I was like, here, let me help you out with your farm and just sort of change things around. Yeah. Nothing in the mailbox. Oh, well. Oh, I think there it is. That's it. That's the place over to Vicky and Vance's gun. Hello. Knock, knock. Let's see, where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Oh, they're over there, I guess. Here. Take the agave. And mailbox is empty. Door to Wind's hideout. What are you doing here, stranger? You looking to start some trouble? I know the two of you stole Vance's gun down in Prim. So? That's just one of our crimes. We're depraved, stone cold degenerates, you know? You don't want to mess with us. Who are you? Me? I'm Sammy. Sammy and Pauline, the Wasteland's most dangerous and notorious criminal duo. You better not mess with us or you'll end up face down in a shallow grave. You sound pretty tough. Wonder why I've never heard of you. Simple. Up until now, we committed our crimes stealthily, leaving no evidence behind, so we never built a rep. But that's gonna change with our next score. You just wait and see. What's your plan? You'll have to ask Pauline about that. She's the brains of our operation. I'm the muscle. Okay. Pretty civilized Howdy. people. You best not try any funny business, stranger. One word from me, and Vance will plant you in the ground. All right, and no, you. Uh, who are you? I'm Pauline of Sammy and Pauline, the wasteland's most dangerous and notorious criminal couple. You'd best not mess with us, or you'll have a bullet hole where your eye used to be. <laughs> Alright, I know you guys stole Vance's gun down in Prim. Why would I deny it? 
I was the one that hacked that cowboy robot while Vance kept him busy. Ain't the first thing we stole, won't be the last. All right, you sound pretty tough. How come I never heard of you before? We ain't never heard of you either. So the not being impressed is mutual. Come a week or so, though, and everyone will have heard of Sammy and Pauline. Just you wait. Okay, what's your plan? Sammy and me got our hands on a powerful weapon not too long ago. Vance's gun. You know Vance, of Vance and Vicky? That gun's our shot at the big time. We're gonna sneak it in on the strip and rob one of the casinos. Maybe all of them. We'll be known as the greatest gunslingers to ever terrorize the wastelands. Your plan is gonna get you both killed. You'll see. You'll feel stupid that you made fun of us when you learn how rich we are. Uh, that's the greatest plan I've ever heard in my entire life. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, okay, why not? Really? You think so? We've only got the one gun and there's two of us. And we've never done anything like this before. We've never been on the strip either. So we don't know how many guards the casinos have. And I kept having these nightmares. What are we thinking? We're gonna get ourselves killed. Look, tell Sammy to give you the gun, all right? Just take it. I don't want it around tempting us to do something stupid. All it took was some positive reinforcements and then all of a sudden they were scared shitless. Yeah. Just like in real life. Yeah. <laughs> this better be good, stranger. Hand over the gun. Really? Oh, thank God. I love that woman, but I swear this time she was going to get us killed. The gun's in the safe. The combination's 5, 23, 34. Take it far away from here before she changes her mind. Time to go. Okay. All right, Vance's nine millimeter submachine gun, and I'll take everything else. I call that payment for all this bull crap you put me through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could take all their food though, but I don't know. They're okay here. Got a nice coffee pot. Got a toaster. Got a nice lamp. Hey, look, you got your own type of gun on your waist, but. Not there, really. She's got nothing. Oh well. Sammy and I are grateful. So let's see this dangerous weapon of theirs. We're going to follow our dreams. Ah, okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. There you go. I got the gun back. Now I could go ahead and give it to uh, Slim Prim, but you know what? I think I'll keep it myself. <laughs> Good idea. What kind of a gun was it? A nine millimeter automatic. Oh. Fully decked out with every single mod. There you go. Take some more ten rounds. Okay, not bad. So now, of course, I'm always a little over encumbered. Don't mind me. All right, is there something I could... I could drink some absinthe. No, that's not good for strength. I'll just have a beer and... I don't know. Buff out? Why not? There you go, I can move now freely. There you go. Although my dehydration levels have went to advance. Not good. Okay, give me that purified water. Oh, still minor. There we go. Now we're... Nope, not done yet. There you go. Gotta drink three bottles. Jeez, you're thirsty. Gotta stay hydrated out here in the sweltering heat. I do. Okay, so. Was able to take care of them. Fix all that up. Got myself a nice gun now, too. Mm hmm. So now. What was the plan again? Mm -hmm. Uh, coyotes, gotcha. I gotta go find out who's been, you know, taking people. Mm -hmm. So, just make my way inside. Hello, boys. How's it going? Don't mind me. Just gonna wait, make my way in here. There you go. West side, west entrance. Gotcha. Let's go take care of these coyotes with uh, Vance's gun. Sounds good. Still gotta find this alliance place or whatever. I gotta look it up again. Yeah. Where the heck is it? I have no I idea. Have 
Mean son of a bitch. Ah, mean son of a bitch. Okay. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> that was good to me. You. Why are you talking to me, man? I'm trying to relax here. Got it? Some people have gone missing and they were last seen dealing with you. I don't know a thing about no missing refugees from that Aerotech camp. Go cry to somebody else. I didn't mention Aerotech. Yeah, well, I must have heard rumors. And, uh... Fuck you! You got nothing on me and Dermot! I also said nothing about Dermot, too. Yeah. Okay, well... Just gotta go over here into the apartment. Hello, mean son of a bitch. Hi again! What's a super moon like you doing in a place like this? Ha ha ha! I wash my bone with shipping. I had Pogo. Beach roof. Goodbye. Okay. Welcome to Casa Madrid. Cheapest, cleanest whores in all New Vegas. If you want to know the rates for Poom, talk to the whores. Okay. I have questions about a couple of your tenants. Like who? Uh, know anything about St. James? Guy's unstable, but he pays his rent and Sweetie seems to like him all right. Is this apartment building yours? Yep, for years now. Guess I should be calling it Casa Marco or something, but I haven't changed the signs. <laughs> Folks who can't pay their way onto the strip need a place to stay too. And when pretty Sarah set her whores up here, the Casa went full service. Okay, well, goodbye. Catch you later then. In you go. <laughs> this this is where the guy's apartment is, okay? Okay. Locksmith reader and what else? And salesman weekly, okay. Oh hello, pretty Sarah. <laughs> Welcome to the Casa Madrid. If you got an itch need scratching, you came to the right place. Just watch how you treat the merchandise. All right, uh, who's merchandise? Three flavors to choose from. Sweetie, Maude, and Jimmy. Sweetie's the house favorite for reasons that should be obvious. Maude is what you might call the discount rack. She's what a customer wears if he doesn't have the caps to afford Sweetie, or just likes them old. <laughs> Jimmy's more of a specialist. I only hear good things. <laughs> yeah. All right, what do you do around here? I look after the only reasons anyone would want to spend any time here. I'm a pimp. All Marco does is collect rent and take a small cut of my action. He sure as hell doesn't clean the rooms. Okay. You're not one of the merchandise? Most of my body is scarred all over, like a ghoul. Nobody around who'd want to screw that. No, I just run things. Uh. How'd you get burned so badly? We don't talk about that. Next topic. Okay, goodbye. You know where to find me. Okay. <laughs> Marco's apartment. And St. James. Why is it not considered stealing to go to St. James, but it is with Marco? Once again, too, my lockpicking skills suck. <laughs> oh, there's Dermot. Oh. I got nothing you need. If it's ass you're looking for, talk to pretty Sarah. What do you do around here? Me and my partner, St. James, work salvage around West Side. That's all. Why is your partner called St. James? Because it's his name. He may be high strung, but he's all right. All says half a scrap, which is all I need. Goodbye. Yeah, beat it. Okay, so. Is there something to take from you? No, he's got nothing. Although, it was telling me to go speak to Dermot and look around. Oh, Dermot's ledger. Uh huh. Can I just sneak around the corner and get it? Should I save first and then mm -hmm. try to get it? Yeah. 
And... Okay. Alrighty, Dermot's ledger. Dermot's new ledger. Going to be a little different than the one I kept for hauling scrap. Ha ha. I've always been a strong believer in keeping straight books. Motor runner, teen girl, 500 caps, adult man, 38 zero caps, true to his word, paid top money for the girl, plus bonus for the first delivery, but paid uh, nothing for girl's father who took a swing at him when untied. Got to keep him, not, keep, gotta keep him more secured. Also, uh, keep SJ off the girls as even fiends don't want used goods. Motor runner, adult woman, 28, 250 caps, old woman, 25 caps, old man, 25 caps, baby boy, zero caps. Got to be more careful selecting what we deliver. Um, runner like the woman, of course, but the baby's worthless except to make sure the woman does as she's told. Her parents next to worthless should have killed and left them. On the bright side, Runner said we can start dealing with fiends closer by, so no more dragging folks all the way to Vault 3. Two Nephi, teen girl, 400 caps, teen boy, 150 caps, child, girl, don't know, 50 caps. More like it learned from passing got rid of mom and dad along the way, try to get more for the young one. I said, hey, give her time to sprout, but, the, but Nephi wouldn't have it. Kept, F, uh, kept SJ off the girls so long as he uh, got his damn teddy. He's a sick one, but I guess the work calls for it. Go cook, adult woman 250, teen girl 400, teen girl 400, teen boy 100. Did not like dealing with this cook cook. Didn't know um, if he'd pay us or uh, burn us. I guess what they uh, do with them once they got them is up to them. Isn't my business, but he didn't even wait for us to turn the corner before he was torching the boy and making the women folk watch. <laughs> Let's hope to deal with Nephi next time. Mm -hmm. Well, excuse me. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is called for. There you go. And everyone's none the wiser. Marco and St. James. Alright, let's go talk to uh, St. James a little bit. We have some things to discuss. St. James! There we go, good conversation. There you go. That takes care of those scrap haulers. Mm -hmm. And let's see, search St. James' room, a Cosmic Madrid apartment for evidence. Hmm. Thanks a lot. I'm out Dermot and St. James' room, and they paid regularly. And once they get to stinking, I'll have to clean up the mess, too. Hmm. Do I? There you go. I don't care if they paid regularly, okay? They were stealing people and sending them to fiends. Yeah. There you go. They did now. Goodbye. I'm going to assume you had reason to kill Dermot and his pet. Always had a bad feeling about them. But everyone else here is hands off. Found this in Derma's room. I'll take a look, just to see what sort of shit they were into. What? Those bastards? Selling folks off to the fiends? Selling children to Cook Cook? I've seen enough. You did everyone a service. Take these. Might help if you get in a jam. There you go. You can just talk to the whores, you know. You and me, we don't need to talk unless there's trouble. Alright. 
I was hoping that they had a key on them. Or she had a key. Can't go into here. It's still considered theft. I want to be able to go into this area, but once again, I screwed up and I don't have enough points into lock picking. I need like a 50 for this, yeah. It says 50. Oh well. I guess I gotta hold off on that for a while. Although I wish there was a key nearby somewhere. Like if they somehow had a key on them, that would have helped out immensely. What's the key to? Uh, the key I was hoping would be to uh, their rooms. Hmm. There you go, nothing in here. Something on the ground or whatever. Meh. Oh well. Hmm. Meh. Open the door, get on out of here. I guess I just gotta wait then a little bit longer until I actually get lockpicking skills up. That sucks. Oh well. I guess now I gotta go find, uh, I guess I'm gonna go try and look back up where this ally technology is on a map so that way then I can possibly get myself the extra stuff or um, get the extra bartering skills. It's a shame though that I can't find it or buy it somewhere but oh well. I guess I'll go ahead and end it right here and just say hey, thanks for anyone watching. Have a good one and see you later.